Backyard Farming, Florida, April the 19th. We'll give an update on the hydroponics system today and uh, talk a little bit about uh, chemistry primarily. I added a fan, this is an AC fan, uh, temporary thing here maybe, uh, to get some air moving in here. Working in conjunction with the uh, two 12-volt DC fans that are running in the back. So I have a push-pull type uh, operation going here. Now you can see the plants uh, are doing, looks to me, pretty well. I haven't uh, adjusted the chemistry any uh, outside of the pH since I started this, which was on uh, Good Friday, April the 10th. That plant right there, as I had made a note of, was 7.5 inches, and it's now 19 inches uh, high. I don't have a uh, TDS meter, but I have one on order. I bought a cheap one uh, through eBay. So once I get that, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and check it. But so I'm basically about uh, nine days into this uh, into this operation, and uh, I managed to OD a little bit on the uh, on the muriatic acid that I added. Um, it ended up uh, my pH is down a little above four O right now kind of waiting for it to just come back up. I'd like to go over the uh, chemistry here a little bit. I was talking about the pH. I'm really trying to uh, maintain a pH of uh, around 6-0. Uh, as I stated before, I'm using muriatic acid. This is uh, around 35% hydrochloric acid, well actually it's 32%. Anyway, it's very caustic and something you need to be careful with. And as I mentioned before in another video, there's other options there. If you got small children or whatever, you might not want to consider using that. Uh, I have 25 gallons of water in the, in the reservoir. I put in um, two and a half ounces of vigor. This is from uh, Liquid Earth Systems. And I also put in five and a half ounces of, of throw. And I haven't, uh, in nine days, I haven't uh, replenished that. <clears throat> and one of the reasons I haven't is because I haven't really noticed uh, the water level going down too much, and that's one of the things that I, I, I failed to uh, to monitor correctly. And I would suggest, when, if you build a container, that you go ahead and put a uh, a ruler or something inside, or make you some some marks with a permanent marker. Now the bloom <coughs> is uh, something that's supposed to be added later on. And again, all these uh, amounts. Uh, I got off of the uh, Future Garden site. Uh, they have an Excel spreadsheet uh, that basically tells you, uh, you know, what kind of uh, quantity you need to add. The other thing, and I haven't haven't done this yet, uh, but because my uh, nutrient temperature is running up uh, in the 70 uh, high 70 degrees. I bought some 35% hydrogen peroxide, and I plan to uh, go ahead and use that uh, to try to prevent, uh, well, actually to oxygen oxygenate uh, the water. So contrary to uh, some things that I've read and watched on YouTube uh, about the frequency that you need to uh, replenish your, 
your, your water and uh, nutrients. Since I don't have a PPM meter uh, right now, I'm, I choose to do nothing. Uh, as long as the plants seem to be uh, responding pretty well and my liquid level in my uh, in my nutrient container doesn't seem to be uh, going down too much. So uh, for right now, uh, that's pretty much the way it's going to be. I should get the meter uh, before next weekend, and at that point, I'll, I'll try to make a, a more accurate assessment of uh, what really needs to be done uh, to optimize uh, the growth of, uh, of these plants. So that's it for this weekend.